the electromagnetic spectrum one then. Now you need to memorize the electromagnetic spectrum and you need to know which end is the high wavelength. I'm going to use the symbol for wavelength. Which end is the low wavelength and you need to know which end is the high frequency and which end is the low frequency and you need to know that if it's high wavelength it's a low frequency high frequency it's a low wavelength so remember it in whatever order you like but know where to put each one so the lowest wavelength light is gamma uh, next is x uv then it's visible Um, then it is infrared and lastly microwaves and radio is the longest wavelength lowest frequency you've got one mark for if you got these two right and one mark for if you got these three right so a total of two marks uh, what is meant by a frequency of the wave there's some words in physics you just need to learn definitions of frequency is how frequent the wave is but you need to say more than that. You need to say how many waves. In a given time. Uh, and usually if it's hertz, it's how many waves in a second. But if you said how many waves in a given time is okay as well. Okay, how frequent they are wouldn't be enough. That's the way you remember that. You could say how many oscillations per second as well. Like how this question looks a little bit confusing at first because well you've got the standard form in here you've got the range of numbers here if the standard form you just need to remember that's one number that's a number that's a number that's a number and you just treat them like any simple number standard form is actually a simple way of representing a more difficult to express number a really small number or a really big number so don't be frightened of it just get comfortable with it practice it and you'll be fine you've got wavelengths You've got speed of waves and you've got frequency. You need to show the frequency. So this means calculate the frequency and it should be roughly that. So it's a nice question because you'll know if you're wrong because it won't be roughly that. Uh, but you are basically calculating the frequency. So the formula, you're going to go to the front of the uh, uh, exam, find the formula. The formula is wave speed equals frequency times wavelength. Now, that's how it's written in the front, so we'll leave it like that, but um, algebra is really helpful. It's not frightening, it's helpful. So V represents wave speed, F is re representing frequency, and this funny upside down Y represents wavelength. That's useful in a moment when I do my rearranging. So, show the frequency range of these waves is this. So here's the range of wavelengths. We know the wave speed, that's that one. Okay, what we have to do is calculate the frequency of that, the frequency of that, and then do the subtraction to find out the range. So let's just go ahead and do it. Well, oh, hang on a minute. We want to work out the frequency. We need to do a rearranging here. Well, I need to leave f where it is, move the times by lambda. The inverse of times by lambda is divide by lambda. So it becomes wave speed divided by wavelength equals frequency. Just do it for each of these. Let's do the first one. Um, three, it is three, it's 3, it's 3.00 times 10 to the 8 divided by 0 0.74 times 10 to the minus 6. Now, when you use these calculators, they have a very useful button times 10 to the something there. So 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 0 0.74 times 10 to the minus 6. You just type it like that. The calculator knows we've got just two numbers and we're just dividing it by, even though it looks more complicated. So that is 4.054. And it's hertz. Oh, it's not, it's times 10 to the 14 hertz. Remember, small wavelength, high frequency. Uh, and then we do the other one. It's the same calculation, three times 10 to the eight divided by 300 times 10 to the minus 6. Again, for practice, 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 300 times 10 to the minus 6. Bang. 1 times 10 to the 12.
that hurts as well. So far, we've got three marks. We've got showing that we can do, we can rearrange and use the formula like that. We've got our answer for the um, smallest wavelength. We've got our answer for the longest wavelength. And now we just need our fourth mark, which is subtract this from that. So 4.54 times 10 to the 14, take away 1 times 10 to the 12 equals, doing the calculator, 4.054 times 10 to the 14 minus 1 times 10 to the 12, bang, 4.4. Four point sorry zero four four times ten to the fourteen hertz, which is the show that value. Okay, I hope that helped.